is a wow that is a good size brim Hey guys and welcome back to Vikings 4x4 and Adventure and in this week's episode we have stumbled across probably one of the most beautiful beach spots we have ever seen on the New South Wales south coast. So this weekend we are not in a national park, we're not in a state forest, we're not even in a nature reserve. This weekend we are at the Big Four Caravan Park in Batemans Bay, the beachfront resort right here just by the beach. So why, you may ask, have we given ourselves this luxury for this weekend? As normally, we're out there in the bush roughing it out, and this weekend we're living the luxury life of a caravan park. Well, this one is going to be probably our last group trip for a little while, due to circumstances that I'll explain in another video, probably next week or the week after. Now, we are really, really looking forward to this one, and it is actually interesting how we got here last night. This was not our planned destination for the trip and I'll explain that in just a moment but boy are we happy with what we were dealt the weather here is absolutely perfect there's not a cloud in the sky and the weather is nice and calm out there on the surf perfect for fishing perfect for swimming everything that we could have asked for so hopefully we have a really nice weekend here we'll show you guys as much as we can and uh, let's get into it so how did we end up here last night? Well, we were supposed to, for this one, be heading an hour further south down the New South Wales south coast to a place called Mystery Bay. Now those long time subscribers uh, will know that we have actually been there before and it is just an absolutely spectacular place. Mystery Bay is probably still within the top three of the most beautiful places we've ever been. However, there was an issue down there before they did not have online booking and due to COVID uh, they introduced the online booking feature and they completely uh, booked out the park due to a long weekend in some other states and in Canberra I believe so unfortunately we were not able to go there lucky that I actually rang them a couple of hours prior to when we were due to depart and they said that and I'm really thankful that I did that because if I didn't ring we would have been leaving after work that day five six o'clock getting all the way down there six hour drive from Sydney and then having the park be full so then we started looking around uh, the area and Batemans Bay is just a, an hour further north from Mystery Bay and so lucky we were members with Big Four due to our previous traveling and all that kind of stuff and so we were able to get in on a powered site too, so we don't even have to worry about the battery going down or anything like that. So we're really excited for this one. It was quite expensive compared to Mystery Bay, but that's all right. Like I said, this will be the last one group trip for a while. Definitely solo trips will still be a thing. But um, anyway, let's get into showing you guys around this absolutely beautiful place.
so we just went for a swim before and the conditions out there they were pretty wild I mean doesn't look that bad but when you're actually standing out there those waves that go out for about a hundred meters they turn up and spit you out the other side now Jared's about to continue his fishing adventures here with the Shimano Sedona XT and the Altegra combo seems to be his go-to favorite and hopefully we can't pull a uh, three meter floody out of this surf anyway let's see how he goes How much luck you having? Not much. Yep. Why is that? It might have been my rig setup, so I've changed it. Made it shorter so it won't tangle up so much. Um, use the lighter sinker. So we're excited. Uh, something was uh, interfering with the signal of the drone before. I was just flying it around, getting some nice scenery shots for you guys as always. And it's just so weak the signal it was blurring out the aircraft actually disconnected for the first time mid-flight so I had to bring it home we might come down and get some nice sun some sunset shots later but I guess we'll see I definitely don't want that to happen again that was pretty terrifying having the drone up there loose connection so I'll just show you what the benefit of power allows me to do here in the Pajero so I've got here just this one single plug right here and this runs everything the fridge battery and all that so the fridge obviously has the option to run off of a 240 plug come standard with the fridge when you buy it you can either run it off 12 volt or 240 which is really handy so let's plug straight into the power board down there and that's running off power now the battery we have a lot of um, appliances here like lights and all that kind of stuff including this little pump that I've got here you just flick that switch there and then within seconds you've got water over there okay all that stuff is run off 12 volt now we've got this over here now I've got to thank Steve again for this I thanked him in a video before Steve from Mud Ducks 4 Drive Touring who told me about this thing this has saved my life so many times this is only a 110 amp hour AGM and it's very very old so I don't have that much usable power um, at camp. Realistically, this fridge uses a lot of power. So having that battery charger here, when I'm plugged into power, means that that battery is always topped up from using these little accessories here, like the pump. We've got little light strip lights up here, light strip desk, all that kind of stuff. That battery charger just keeps that battery topped up and in really good condition I don't even have to worry about anything in the back here when we're plugged into power and it's just so convenient right so it's starting to cool down now and the wind is really starting to blow and so we've had to tie down the sides here on the uh, the new batwing awning it's the first time I've ever had an issue with the wind because we are coastal I guess it's to be expected so they were coming in like this and they were moving in like that and then causing the bars to bend down a bit so, tied them down now out there, nice tension on them, keep them straight, we're on a slight angle so the wind doesn't blow them around and these guide ropes here should keep that still. I guess that's the only disadvantage to having such a big awning is there's such a wide surface area for wind to blow up on. And I guess this is the first time really being in a windy environment that we're experiencing it, so that's what we've had to do. What's a brim? The ones with the straps. The strap it looks. There's a fair few other people fishing over there too. And I uh, don't know how those underwater shots just turned out, but there's tons of little fish in here. And like we said before, where there's small ones, there's definitely bigger ones. So, what are you going to do, Jared? Fish. <laughs> <laughs> what are you reckon about this spot, Jared? It's promising. I How deep is like it? The other one better. So, right now we're deciding between this particular spot here or another one that's just up and around behind us up there a little bit more. Jared has spoken to someone else that's here who was fishing this morning and he's found a spot with uh, less weeds than the other one. So the other spot that we were at down there, we were just catching a lot of weeds. 
something was coming along and then he was getting little nibbles and they were just dragging him into the weeds. Here there's supposedly less and so that's good. Look at that, that bloke there just caught a brim. Right there. Wow, okay. Hopes are high for this spot then. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, well. Beautiful brim. Have a look at that, eh? Not bad. So I see that Jared's nab that other fellow's spot. Wow, not bad. He gave it to me. <laughs> he just, as soon as he visited, um, we called this guy. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the other bloke left and then uh, let Jared use the spot. What do you want to do with him? Put him back, I reckon. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> How awesome is that? Awesome. So I was literally just walking down here, coming back to uh, see what Jared was up to. And then when I, uh, when I got just about there, I just seen him whip that thing out. It was, yeah, it was good. <laughs> nice brim. And the first brim of the trip. He's happy. Yes. No, I'm, I'm happy now. <laughs> That's all I wanted. But I'm going for more. Yep, 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 yep. Bringing in the creek. Oh, moving, he's moving. Oh, boy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Live action. <laughs> Number two, another one. Another nice brim. Have a look at that. I've got one. I think he's a little one. That's number four. There we go. This one's a little bit more on the fast side. Whew. That is a big brim. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with this one. He's... Oh, that is a wow. That is a good size brim. He's got to be, I reckon, nearly forty, maybe even, maybe even forty. I think he deserves to be thrown back. He gave me one hell of a fight, so. Eel. Looks like, it looks like an eel. Jeez. Bugger. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, at least you get to have a good look at him, mate. <laughs> he was huge. Probably good. Probably yeah. Good. <laughs> Man, not bad. Oh. Eh? Would you count that? Uh, yeah. People eat them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least everyone got to see that.
an impressive one. Yeah, I've sold them out, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we oh, did. No, I did actually. Absolutely, <laughs> we did. <laughs> oh, 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 bugger. I reckon. I wonder if he'd be, he'd be about 30. Close? Yeah. Wow, impressive. Very nice. Can't wait to do Let's put the Shimano shirt on in. Good morning everyone, here we are on our pack up day. Since we're at a caravan park we have to be out of here quite early so everyone here is just packing up. Now what an awesome day yesterday was, especially for Jared. We stumbled across that really nice little fishing spot and we got a little bit of a helping hand from Ray there. So Ray if you're watching this, thanks very much mate for all your tips and tricks and also uh, getting some really good content for us, <laughs> catching all those fish. I mean. Who would have ever thought in a little tiny area like that that there would be so many decent sized, large sized brim in there? I mean, that was just insane. So today, we're just now packing up. Uh, not too much else to do around here. So we've got a fairly big drive ahead of us back to Sydney. So that's pretty much our plan for the rest of the day. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this place as much as we did. This this really takes a spot on our favorites list, especially in the fishing category. I mean, that was just crazy. I've never seen that many good brim uh, reeled out in a short period of time like that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And as always, we will see you in the next adventure.